You asked me to figure out where this video was recorded, so I did. Hi, I'm Jose Monkey, and I find people who ask to be found. I seem to get tagged in a large number of videos with fire trucks in them for some reason. Anyway, this video required a slightly different approach to finding this place than I would usually use, so it was kind of fun. So what can we see? This video shows a fire truck as it speeds down the street as it's responding to a call. It looks like the video was recorded from some kind of equipment yard or lot because we can see a bunch of like storage sheds and stalls and snow plows and things like that. I made particular note of this brown shed that we see here and also this bluish gray structure with the slanted roof. I also noticed that on the right here, we could see something that looked like it could be electrical equipment, kind of like a substation or something, but I wasn't sure. A couple other things about this video. First, it was posted on August 9th, 2022. So I figured that's probably when this happened. And while it did not identify the fire company or the location where this was, it did say that it was Engine Rescue 57 that was responding to the call, and it said that it was a small shed fire. Okay, usually when I try to locate videos that feature emergency vehicles responding to incidents, my first approach is to go right to Facebook. Because everybody knows that if a fire company responds to a fire and doesn't post it on Facebook, they don't get paid. Okay, that's not true, but sometimes it seems that way because fire companies love to post about this stuff. Anyway, I went to Facebook and searched for Engine Rescue 57, and I very quickly got a page for Hope Fire Company in Phillipsburg, Pennsylvania. So I looked through their posts to see if anything happened on August 9th, and in fact, I did find a post about a small shed fire. That post told me both the street and the town where it happened. But the video isn't at the scene of the fire, it's just showing the truck going down the street. So I looked up the address of the fire station and the address of the incident, and I looked at what Google Maps said would be the best way to get there. But I noticed that the primary route that Google showed us goes right to the middle of town, and I figured that the truck probably wouldn't have gone that way. So I looked at the alternate route, which takes it out to 322 instead, which makes a lot more sense. So I just looked along that route to see if I could find a place that looked like what we see in your video. I'd be looking for a large lot with the sheds that we saw and maybe some electrical equipment nearby. I very quickly found the Phillipsburg Borough Garage, and right next to it, the Phillipsburg substation. And right away, I knew that was going to be right. You are here at the Phillipsburg Borough Garage, facing northwest towards US 322. I couldn't get a good view from the Borough Garage parking lot, but fortunately Slabtown Park is right next to the garage. From the park photos, I was able to find this photo that shows us the brown shed, and this one that shows us the bluish gray structure with the angled roof. And while I couldn't get a photo from the point of view of where you were standing when you recorded this, I was able to get one from the point of view of the fire truck. And if the driver of the truck had looked toward the borough garage when they were passing by, they would have seen you standing right here recording them with your phone. Guys, please like and share. And if anybody else would like me to find them, record a video where you say, find me, Jose Monkey, or something like that on camera, or hold up a sign that says something similar. And don't forget to tag me in a comment on that video.